Hello again. As you can tell from the substantial buildup of grime on things, it's been a while. Had a few other projects going on, got sucked into helping some other folks, and just haven't had time to do basically anything around my own house. Uh, somehow someone forgot what I was doing and left me with a few hours to myself. So I thought I'd try and get some more work done on the pick and place machine here. So, first thing I'm, where I left off according to past videos was trying to align the camera and figure out this upper mounting point so I can get that all nailed down. Um, over here, I don't know if you can see that, get rid of the glare. I have the pick and place software up and running and using that to check focus and view. Um, the first thing I noticed is I am not square. The rotation of the camera is based on the body, not this adjustment nut. So the first thing I'm going to do is clean the goop off my square and then set that up against the edge of the plate and get the camera view square to the plate. It's going to be a little more difficult. Oh, let me just do this one. So again, I need the square sort of up at this one inch mark. And I'm going to try and get this all nice and square to the front of the machine. Like so, such that this edge in here is square to the front of the machine. I'm just going to bring my camera assembly over until I can see it. Loosen up my set screw. Or not set screw, my clamp screw. And then carefully adjust the body of the camera until until the edge of the square is square to the edge of the frame. I can do that just by moving the camera over. Silver on silver is not the best idea when doing this, so I'm just going to throw a piece of paper under here to give me some contrast. That works. And then, stick my hammer, hands right in front of your view. This laptop has a really loud fan in it, apparently. Lining this up is turning out to be more difficult than I thought. Because there's like a, a second or two lag on the video, or not a second, like a half second. So I make my adjustment. Then I gotta wait before I make any more. To see if I went too far or not. I may cut some of this out. And that right there looks really good. So I'm just going to tighten this top clamp, which will lock the rotation of the camera with respect to this block, and this block sits on flat on that block. So everything should stay nice and square from now on. Yep, still looks good. Okay, so next... I need to set my focus step. Get this off of there. So if you look up here, 
this little knob here adjusts the inside of the camera up and down. That is the focus knob. Now there's about two and a half turns that can take it in and out. Which is the limit of my focus. Right now, with where this thing is mounted, I only can take it out that far and that ruler is in focus. Uh, I need to tighten that screw. Note this is wobbling around quite a bit because these two screws are not in place and that's the screw for the top of the assembly. So let me bring this back up. Think right about there. There we go. So let's do this again. Focus the camera. So right there I'm focused on the ruler. Now, depending on the PCB assembly and if there's parts on the back side, I'm going to have to come up from my plane of reference, at least the thickness of the PCB. So now just to overdo it, I'm going to move everything up. What is that? Probably a half inch, whatever the thickness of my square is, and see which way I have to adjust this to get it back into focus. So right there I'm pretty much back in focus. So it looks like I have to move it out, which I have plenty of adjustment to do. So here, focus that. Focus also changes the zoom of the camera a slight bit. Make a line. Bring this up. So as you can see, moving at a half inch barely changed the focus point at all. It did bring it out, I'm saying this direction's out because the camera assembly moves out of the lens body, but in the overall view of things, a half inch of depth doesn't change the focus much at all. My original thought was to have, you know, use this as sort of zoom control, because it does change the zoom but it really does not change things much at all. Ideally, I'd like this centered in the range of the focus adjust, but by doing that, I have to slide the camera down. So if I go up that much to get it back into focus, oops, I have to slide the camera up. Oops. Try that. Oh, I lied. I thought I had to move the camera down to get more focus because this was originally meant to be a microscope, but I actually have to move it up. <laughs> 